All right. So here we are looking at 5.1, where our goal is to define terms related to matrices, including matrix element, corresponding element, and dimension. So the first thing we want to define is a matrix. What in math is a matrix? A matrix is an array made up of elements. Now, wow, that's pretty boring, right? So what in the world is an array? Well, an array is like um, an organized set of dots or anything of that nature. So this would be an array. Uh, these are just dots in an organized fashion. Uh, I like to think of like um, uh, a checkerboard or a chessboard, right? A chessboard is an array, um, if you think about that, right? So a matrix is an array made up of elements. Well, now we got to define what are elements. So an element is a single entry in uh, a matrix and I want to be a little bit more specific so this can be so it can be any expression so most common like 99.99% .99 of the time we're going to be looking at uh, numbers sometimes we'll look at variables and other times we could look at that as expressions that are a little bit more complex, like numbers, for example, like 0, 11, 22, right? Whatever. Variables like x or y, expressions like 4z plus 1, all right? So this would be a single entry, okay? Uh, the next word we, wanted, we want to discuss is a chorus corresponding element. All right, so this term, a corresponding element, it is an element in the same position as another element from a different matrix all right so they have to be in the same position so if i had two different matrices so if i have this array right here and let's come up with another array two 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 choo, 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 right i have two different arrays all right these are just dots but um, corresponding elements would be like this one matches up with this one because they're in the same position, right? So it has to be in the same position in order for it to be corresponding, okay? All right, so um, the last word that we're going to define is dimension. So the dimension, this is the size of a matrix and that's really all we're going to say about that now it's very specific how we talk about the dimension it is always going to be in row by column okay so this is the word by and i can i have to emphasize here this is not multiply k multiply k it's not multiplication, all right? This just means by. So we're going to do row by column. That is the size or the dimension of a matrix. And now rows, I would think about those as church pews, right? Church pews sit in rows. And if you're up at the front of church and you look out around the rows, they're all going to go side to side, right? And columns, I think about the columns in front of the White House. All the columns in front of the White House they go up and down. 
Okay, so rows go side to side, columns go up and down. Now, let's take a look at an example of a matrix. Now, I'm going to make up a matrix here. I'm going to make up a matrix, and we're going to take a look at some of the, the pieces of this matrix. So all matrices are going to be defined by capital letters. So let's make one up here. Let's go negative uh, 3, uh, 4, 7, um, 21, 11, negative 5, 0 is fun. Negative 1 is a good guy. Let's go um, 9, 6, 2, and negative 13. All right, we made up a matrix. Now, the first thing we want to say is that this is the matrix A, right? So it's a capital letter, matrix A. Now this matrix, and the size of this matrix, or the dimensions of this matrix, so let's take a look at the number of rows. Okay, again, rows go left to right. So this has one, two, three rows. So the dimensions or the size of A is a three by, so we have three rows. Now how many columns do we have? Well, we have one, two, three, four columns. So this is a three by four, right? Three rows, four columns. So that's the dimensions or the size of A. Now let's take a look at some of the elements within A. All right, so elements are going to be defined by a, uh, subscript numbers, right? And they're going to be in the form of rows and columns. So whatever the matrix is will be here. This is the matrix. And then the, the first number is going to be the row that we're going to reference. The second number is going to be the column that we're going to reference, okay? For example, um, you might get a question that says, you know what? is um, a sub two three okay all right so matrix a here's matrix a the second row so i need to go there's row one is at top so we go top to bottom left to right so row one row two so i'm looking in this row and i'm looking for the third column one two third column so second row third column a sub two three is zero and if we had something that said A sub uh, 1, 4, all right, first row, 1, 2, 3, fourth column, that is 21. Now, if you get something silly that says something like A sub 4, 3, well, wait a second. It's fourth row, third column, 1, 2, 3. Well, there is no fourth row. So there is no fourth row, then this does not exist, okay? Another question that I might ask of you, is this a square, is this a square matrix? Now, what would make a matrix square? Well, the only way that we can make a square matrix is to have the same number of rows and columns. All right, so let's write that down. Square matrix has the same number of rows and columns. Well, this was a three by four. There's three rows and four columns. That's not the same number. Therefore, this is not a square matrix. So I'd, my answer here would be a resounding no. Okay. Um, that should be enough to get you through the first homework. So 5.1. Again, as always, if you have any questions, make sure you ask.